Hello, my name is Christian Walter from TradeVola and like every week we want to present you some uh, information uh, around or regarding trading, um, trading strategies, um, interesting um, symbols. So if you don't, don't want to miss any of um, our videos, please subscribe here to our YouTube channel. I will be happy um, to host you for every new video here. And now we want to have a look at the screen. Yeah, today we would like to speak about Amazon and the impact of the um, news what we had um, for one week, um, I think one week ago about the new boss uh, that Jeff Bezos uh, will be not the CEO anymore and um, long time employee. I think he's um, in the company company for more than um, 23 years. Andy Jesse uh, will be the new um, um, CEO. Um, and as I said, he started in 1997. So he's at the end um, there from the beginning. And um, yeah, you should always keep in mind there will be not a big change, I think, uh, for Amazon as Jeff Bezos is still the biggest um, shareholder and I think for more most important um, decisions he will be still the one um, yeah, who's taking care. It's just at the end a new phase um, who's um, there to be the CEO and um, you can also see it at the end in the in the um, in the chart itself there was I think if we check at this day here this um, red candle here this was the day when it was announced so it went a little bit down we had here um, beginning of february the earnings uh, where it even came um, a little bit above the latest range was where amazon was only going sideways but we should not forget about um, the last year because um, of course since september or let's say since the end of august amazon was not moving um, that much um, at least it was mostly between try three thousand dollars and three thousand five hundred dollars like um, yeah, if we just check the range here the highest um, price was still um, from the beginning of september i think this is also the um, all-time high and yeah, lowest price we had here, middle of September, this was $2,900. Um, but there was um, no big movement happening during this period of time, but uh, we need to um, yeah, see the whole last year to understand um, that uh, what everyone knows already, that Amazon, of course, was one of the biggest um, gainers of the um, corona pandemic. You can see here Amazon in March when everything went down. It was the lowest price at $1,600 or um, almost $1,600. And um, yeah, Amazon doubled even on this price level in um, less than five months. And um, um, yeah, the price is um, still in this range. Uh, as we see, there's no big impact. But just to make sure, because a lot of people are interested interested in uh, Amazon, the stock itself. Depending on uh, which broker you are using, you have different opportunities. Because I know the share of the stock with three thousand three hundred and twelve dollar is um, quite expensive. Um, but there are many other ways um, what you can also trade. For example, in interactive broker, um, what we see here on our screen, we can just type um, the symbol let's maybe go to a watch list where i can show this to you um, you just type any any symbol and then you have um, here a selection of uh, everything uh, what you can trade related to amazon um, yeah, most common is the stock on the nasdaq for sure but um, yeah as I said, for smaller accounts, it might be not possible to buy even one share of Amazon. So you also have the possibility to buy um, options. If you are yeah, um, experienced in option trading, you also have um, structured products or what I can um, recommend for smaller accounts is as well. Um, CFD on Amazon, um, just to show you how much one CFD um, what an impact on the margin will be if you buy one CFD on Amazon. Of course, you need to be aware of all the um, things, but here you can see the initial margin uh, will only uh, change $546. Um, so it's um, 
it's of course cheaper um, considering considering um, the impact of the margin to trade a CFD. Uh, but you need to know uh, if you keep a CFD on the long term, uh, you need to know about the interest and all the other costs uh, what are included in the CFD. Uh, but this is one option if the share might be too expensive for you. But I also want to show you some more related to this. Uh, we go back one more time. There you have also other stock exchanges. This will not make any big difference if you traded in Mexico, um, Germany, Switzerland, or even on the NASDAQ. But uh, what might be the best solution, especially for smaller accounts, um, instead of um, choosing one of these products, what you see here, that IB, um, especially IB Direct, offers you the following um, things, um, what's called fractional shares. You can just uh, pick your amount, what you want to invest in a certain um, stock, and then you buy um, 0 0.02 or whatever um, um, the amount equals as a fractional share. Um, of Amazon. So um, this is also for all the other um, stocks where you can always, like in this example, if you see Tesla, Google or Netflix, all stocks which are um, a little bit more expensive um, and are not so easy to buy for smaller account sizes. You can um, use this opportunity. Just make sure if you are able um, to, or if it's possible to trade fractional shares, um, with IB Ireland, uh, it should be possible. Um, other than this, with um, I think with introducing brokers, you also need to check if they offer this um, because most of them, they can't enable fractional trading. It's only if you're directly with IB, but um, as things are uh, changing quite uh, fast also with IB Direct, always double check um, if this opportunity is possible for your account um, and then you should be able to get the permission for fractional shares and do it in your trader workstation in the same way like um, how we did it here um, for CFDs or for stock. Yeah, thank you for watching the video. We will be happy if you have any comments, please feel free to uh, type everything below the video. Also, we are happy for every like and if you want to see more information, please subscribe to our channel. We will be happy um, to host you for one of the next uh, videos or webinars. Thank you very much.